Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be making a video describing my Logitech Z623 sub and speakers. I'll go ahead and tell you exactly what I'm experiencing and then I'm going to go ahead and be right back with you and tell you about the amplifier here. What I'm experiencing myself is I'm experiencing white noise out of the speakers when it is plugged in. And so with it plugged in, I'm getting white noise but there's no sound when I hook up either my AUX cable to my iPod or I also have these here uh, connected to my iPod as well with this one that goes into your iPod or iPhone. And so either set of cables does not work, but my speakers do work. I've actually hooked up my left one, which is detachable. I've hooked that up to another system. My left one is getting perfectly clear, good sound, so I'm thinking the right one does as well, because I'm hearing white noise out of both of them. I'm just not hearing any music. And so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go inside the actual subwoofer. Alrighty guys, so that's what I was experiencing there with my speakers making the white noise. They do work, the speakers do work, but my amplifier is blown. Now I was able to take this out. I do have a full video, look in the description box below about how to remove your sub, how to remove the screen off of your Z623, and how to remove the amp. Now unfortunately some other videos on YouTube, some of the guys have just a loose ribbon wire here or bad solder crack solder and it is able to regain sound after that well unfortunately even after a heat gun on some of the solder joints repositioning these it does not work um, I do have a blinking light when I do plug it in right here on the amp let's see actually let me uh, go ahead and plug that in real quick and we'll capture that on film capture it let me do it again right here there we go so unfortunately, I've tested all the different um, AUX cables, and again, like I described, the other monster cable, and it's just, it's a bad amplifier in here. This is a known problem, and so unfortunately, I couldn't fix it, but that's what I was experiencing, guys. So if you do have another one or somebody that sells these parts, you just need a new amplifier, a new chipboard down here. You can play around with these ribbon cables. Um, they might work for you, but I was able to salvage the sub and I was able to salvage the speakers. Now this isn't a complete loss guys, you can sell just the speakers each individually or together as a set on eBay and you can fetch some pretty good money still. Or mount these to a different sub um, and you'll be able to uh, at least use the speakers or take them apart, connect them to another uh, source. Anyway guys, so it's not a total loss. Unfortunately in my situation it was but look in the description box again for the other video about how to take apart your sub. But I'm just letting you know my problem was a bad amplifier. And so you guys understand what's going on and so you don't fish around too much. And that's a look at it here. And so hopefully you guys can fix yours. And you guys take care and have a great day. And again, look in the description box below and please subscribe. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.